Hey guys, and welcome to part two of how to make the GCSE program Falcon. Right, now what we've done, well, now that we have our armature all sorted, now what we want to do is basically just get some wallpaper paste, because there's that's what you need, and then you just get some tissue paper, preferably plenty because it's good quality stuff. And then what we want to do is basically um, just to start off with, just do a little bit of a base layer for the bird just by simply just getting some of the uh, wallpaper paste and just pop it in and then literally just run off the excess with your thumb and finger like so. And as you can see that was a lot of excess just there. Okay, so now what you want to do, once you've got rid of all the uh, excess gunk, what you want to do is just basically wrap it around your armature. Okay, so all you need to do is just wrap it around the whole of your armature and do a full body covering. Okay? Okay. Okay, so this is what the bird should look like once you've done a couple of layers on it. Okay, so just build up a couple of layers, just let it dry for about 24 hours, suggested time. And then, once you've actually covered it up, what you can do is actually make some feathers. So to make the feathers, what you're going to need, some plenty, a sheet sort of thing. And then just cut it in scissors, cut the sheet in half, like so. And then cut that half into quarters and then cut the quarters in half again okay so then what you want to do to actually make a feather shape is just fold it into thirds so you, if you just fold one side into a third and then you actually fold the other side back on to the, the previous side you folded and then to get the feather shape all you need to do just cut a little round tip like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to be doing the under part of the wing. Okay, so just unravel your feather like that. Get some on your wallpaper paste. We'll get some wallpaper paste on your feather even. Make sure it's actually quite important that you don't have loads of excess on it because if it does it won't it won't it's not gonna dry properly. Okay? So once you've got it and then just clasp your fingers down that like so. Take the excess off and then just pop it on the side of the bucket, fold it into thirds like so. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because it may just add to the feather shape. And then what you want to do just lay it on like that or as you can see just to get it into proper scale I've actually drawn a chalk outline of how big the actual bird is so what you're going to want to do is put the have, have the tip of the feather so it's actually bordering on the chalk outline okay okay so what you should have um, once you've laid all the feathers on is something which looks a little bit like that. Okay, so what I've done is um, I use relatively long feathers like that, almost sort of uh, nearly six inches long, um, the actual feather length. So um, I use those for the base layer, and then yeah, you're actually going to need to do a leading edge, and so you can just tidy up the uh, front edge, that part there. Okay, and you're going to do the same with the other side, so, and then it's actually got quite a nice te texture to it. Now what I've done, I've actually started on the tail, but the tail is going to want to be around about to there, okay? So what you can do is using, like, basically use the feathering technique that I've already showed you, and then what you need to do is use that as a sort of place, instead of to hold it so in, instead of having it there you, know, you can actually attach it to the end of the first lot of feathers here like that so it makes it that a little bit longer okay so that's what we're going to do now 
So get your trusty wallpaper paste. Just stick a bit on the uh, band tape. Plenty of tape. And again, just make sure you get most of it off because you don't want it too heavy. Otherwise, it is gonna it won't dry. Okay. So. Make the basic uh, feather shape again and then suspend it like that. Okay? So then just repeat it along there, possibly making the tail a little bit wider. Okay? Let's get to it. Right, okay, so here we are, nearly finished. Right, now what we want to do just to get it closer to that finishing stage is just trim the wings a bit okay as you can see I've actually just made the wings a bit more flatter in shape almost so um, right and then what you need to do once you've actually got to a standard which you like f to do the trimming um, use either scissors or a scalpel but then once you've done that what you need to do is work on the profile of the beak okay Right, here's the finished bird, and uh, thanks for watching.